Well, now on the CBS3 Health Watch, a new way to fix shoulders that are being called a, it's being called a game changer. It's a little balloon that's delivering really big results. Yeah, I have this injury and I'm paying close attention to take notes. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us to explain exactly how it works. Siafa, you are going to be really interested in this because you are among the millions who suffer with torn rotator cuffs. Surgery to repair them can be painful and doesn't always work. Well, now there is a new FDA cleared alternative. It's not a problem working it. Paul Ham had a severely torn rotator cuff. Normally, doing this, moving his arm freely without pain, would be impossible. It's really excruciating. It's it's unbelievable. Paul has had a series of shoulder operations. This time, instead of the standard repair surgery, he was eager to try something new. Paul was the first patient in the United States implanted with the in-space device. Dr. Joseph Abood with Rothman Orthopedics can now fix severely torn rotator cuff tendons, not just with traditional sutures, but with a balloon instead. I was blown away by how simple the product was. I would say this is one of the landmark innovations that has happened in the last 10 years. Dr. Abood says the balloon that takes 10 minutes to place arthroscopically cushions bones in the shoulder. And you place it right here. Some of the best ideas are the simplest ideas. The balloon that's inflated with saline dissolves over time as the patient rehabilitates the shoulder. It creates the ability for the body to compensate for the deficiency in the rotator cuff. For Paul, who's 63 and an avid golfer, he's back to lifting weights. It's literally no pain. The in-space arthroscopic treatment that's FDA cleared can only be used for certain patients, but Dr. Abood says there's now an alternative to surgery that's quick, easy, and painless. This new technology has the potential to revolutionize the care of patients with shoulder problems. And Rothman now has six patients who have been successfully treated with the in-space balloon. Siafa, I could maybe hook you up. <laughs> I will be in your office as soon as this newscast is over. Thank you very much, Stephanie.